If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Box and Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise guy to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. We got some news out of the 154 pound division. Yes, junior middleweight, 154, as our English brethren and sister would say. You know, we have some news coming out the Xander Zayas camp. You know, the young prospect coming up, man. He's the number one contender, number one ranked fighter in the WBO at 154 pounds, right? Well, at the WBO convention in Puerto Rico, you know where he's from, you know, he's a Boricua, you know, um, they have said that, hey man, there's somebody looking out for Xander's eyes. His name is Spawa Spomer. <laughs> Spawa Spomer, a German fighter, he's 19 and 0, and he said he, he wants to smoke with the number one rated guy in the WBO, and that is Xander Zayas. And if, he, if that's not convincing enough, they asked um, Top Rake about it, you know, who Xander Zayas is assigned with, and they said, yeah, they're entertaining a, 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 a showdown with the German, you know, like I said, the undefeated German. I don't know much about him, but I do know he's ranked number 12 in the WBO rankings. And Xander Zayas, I like this fight for him, you know. He called out Virgil Ortiz, so it's not Virgil Ortiz per se. Of course not. You know, he's not as high a caliber fighter as that. But I think this is a good fight for the young 22 year old you know he's, he's a young american still uh, uh uh still up and coming still finding himself you know refining some things and i think this would be a good good nice little test for him i guess another guy who's undefeated and in the top 15 rankings you know um so i i think this is dope for the natural progression of 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 his uh of his fighting style and we can see how his uh, his fighting style develops and his character you know so i love this fight i think it's good but i do want to bring this to y'all's attention man you know xander zayas he has a lot in common with the guy we just saw we just saw fight this weekend and struggled a little bit against a veteran his name is floyd kid Austin schofield you know they're both 22 years old they're both young uh up and coming americans and i think that you know, sometimes we put too much expectations on these fighters. So I think that this fight is a good test for him. Just like Floyd Kid Austin Schofield had a good test as well. You know, he he's what, 18 and 0. Xander's eyes is 20 and 0. He actually has more fights. But I think we should have some patience with these young man's career and let their fighting style, let their character, let their game develop. We're in here talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we're talking about practice. I think it's also fine for Kid Austin and Floyd Schofield to, to progress and struggle against a veteran like that, you know? So just take your time with these young up and coming prospects like we're going to do with Xander's eyes, just like we do with Floyd Kid Austin Schofield and all the other ones, you know? Like I said, Floyd Kid Austin Schofield fought Rene Tellis Giron. And he struggled a little bit against a veteran. Xander Zayas, he's fighting an undefeated fighter, but he's relatively unknown. So we'll see how it goes. I want to eat his children. So yeah, Xander Zayas and Kid Austin, like I said, they have a lot in common. Both 22, both up and coming Americans. And they're on the cusp of having their career take off. So I think we should just, you know, chill and let, let the chips fall as they may. And also, you know, they also have in common that they're both uh, uh, ranked highly in their respective divisions, you know, with uh, Floyd Kid Austin Schofield being number two in the WBA and Xander Zayas being number one ranked contender. So, you know, so let's take it easy with them and just enjoy them on their career and see how it takes off. I, I, I have uh, big faith in both of these fighters. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Yeah, so let's just let's just take our time with these fighters and our expectations and let them progress naturally, man. I think everything be good. But the the date of the fight has not been ascertained. They did not uh, uh, specify a location or a venue or anything yet. But you know, according to the, the, the WBO executives and top rank themselves, we should be seeing Xander Zayas against Spawa Spomer next. You know, what I'm saying for an undefeated clash. So we'll see how it goes, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Don't forget to like the video and remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets